Lisa, all the newly assigned people here say they volunteered for the mission. They're not here to arrest or detain anyone. They're just helping out the Border Patrol. We're going to the 94 sector. About 900 National Guard troops are now assigned to the California-Mexico border, and they believe their presence is necessary. We don't have enough Border Patrol agents out there, and right now we're here to just be the eyes and ears of the Border Patrol. One of the tools they use to spot people crossing the border is an infrared camera installed on the back of a truck. Um, the radius of it is um, 360 degrees, which is equivalent to three to five miles. Five miles seems like a large area, but remember the border is 136 miles long. Well, as you can see, this is a densely populated area of the Mexican border, and agents say over the years it's been a hot spot for people to try to cross over, especially during the nighttime. To about two, three hundred people would play soccer during the day, and take take off into our country as soon as dark, uh, as soon as it became dark. Roberto Clemente is a real estate agent when he's not serving in the guard. Although his assignment has him high above the fencing, other soldiers are pretty close to dangerous areas. Had a few people come across with knives, um, some shootings from the police shooting after Mexican citizens coming across. What's that like to witness it? Uh, it's kind of scary, uh, you know, considering we're out here unarmed and just doing our job. Um, you know, we don't expect to be shot at or chased after. Philip Kortner of Galt has been assigned to the border for several years now. He and others say their mission here is important. Is this something that we can look back 20, 30 years and say, you know what, I built this. I was a part of this. This is something that it's historical, I believe. Well, something else to note, just because someone is serving here at the border, that does not get them out of an assignment to Iraq or Afghanistan. If they're needed overseas, they will be pulled from this mission. Reporting live in San Diego, Susan Saravo, NBC 11 News.